There's no denying it, everybody is unique. You and I are nothing like each other, and we're both different to Scarlett Johansson, and all three of us are different to Lithuanian strongman Zdruna Savitskas. But some people are so unique, there's almost nobody who's anything like them. These are rare humans that are one in a million. Number 15. Angelica Canova We often hear about people having cosmetic surgery to look like Barbie, but for someone to look like Barbie without surgery and at the request of her parents, now that's absurd. Angelica Canova lives with her over-controlling parents who have been dressing her up to look like a doll since she was born. Angelica is now in her 30s and she still lives at home. Her parents don't let her do anything that strays away from her image as a Barbie, and she isn't even allowed to go on dates without one of her parents sitting at the table. Even though she maintains a lifestyle as a model and child psychologist, interesting career choice, she is ultimately under her parents' control. They hired a professional trainer for her in her teens so that she could maintain her Barbie-like figure, and she also focuses heavily on nutrition and training. Angelica has dreams to grow her fan base and become a Playboy model, but she's unsure how to make that happen. She's not allowed to meet anyone without her parents' approval, and she has to be under their constant supervision. Wow. Just wow. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now, it's time for the odd topic. Lots of people are one in a million. One such example is Lithuanian strongman Zidruna Savitskas. Nobody is like Lithuanian strongman Zidruna Savitskas. If you said to me, I'm like Lithuanian strongman Zidruna Savitskas, I'd say, no, you're nothing like Lithuanian strongman Zidruna Savitskas. Because Lithuanian strongman Zidruna Savitskas is one in a million. But somebody who's even more unique than Lithuanian strongman Strongman Zidruna Savitskas is Nia Dak Ducky Thod. The internet has been blown away by images of her because nobody can quite believe how much she looks like an actual Barbie doll. This Australian and Sudanese model recently appeared on popular reality show Australia's Next Top Model and immediately captured the public's heart with her stunning and striking good looks. And under the perfect light, lots of her new fans noted that she looked so perfect and glowing that she could almost be described as a living Barbie doll. One photo of her in particular truly bedazzled people. Twitter was flooded with comments from people who genuinely mistook the photo for a shot of a Barbie doll. I wish I was that pretty. But uh, no, I'm a hideous mess. As always, comment down below with the hashtag oddtopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Valeria Lukianova. Angelica Canova is Barbie-like at the behest of her parents, but Valeria Lukyanova is a different story. Valeria is a Ukrainian model and entertainer from Russia who shot to fame for how much like a Barbie she looks. In 2007, Valeria won Miss Diamond Crown of the World, a worldwide beauty contest. Since then, she's been reported about for her almost inhuman body. Surprisingly, the only cosmetic surgery Valeria has had was breast implants. Everything else related to her body was achieved through sheer hard work like gym workouts and dieting. When she's not busy at the gym or dieting, she's working as an instructor at the School of Out of Body Travel. This school is described as being where instructors show students how to leave their physical bodies to travel in spiritual bodies. She's also a composer and opera singer, having recorded two albums. Valeria has even written a book called Astral Travel Amateu, which tells her story of astral trips, which you can download from her website. Because of her looks, Valeria has appeared in various films and shows like The Doll in 2017 and an episode of Vice's My Life Online called Space Barbie. Number 13. Elastic Man, stretchiest skin in the world. Some people become rare humans through their own choices, but the world's stretchiest man didn't have to put in any hard work. He was just born stretchy. 
In 1999, Gary Turner received a Guinness World Record for the stretchiest skin in the world after being able to stretch his skin out without any pain. The UK-born man was born with loose skin, which the midwife had remarked on. He didn't grow out of it, and by the age of 13, he was diagnosed with a rare case of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. This syndrome is a genetic disorder of the connecting tissues. It affects his internal organs, skin, and ligaments. The condition causes his collagen to become defective, which can loosen the skin and cause other problems. He's offering himself to our audience. Oh. Those other problems turned out to be bleeding and bruises that don't heal fast. As a result, he had to quit football and even a job at a construction site. So now, Gary uses his condition to his advantage. He works as a sideshow performer, pulling his chest skin over his face and pulling out his stomach skin to a length of nearly 16 centimeters or 6 inches. Number 12. Queen of the Dark an Uber driver once told Naya Kim Gadwech that she should bleach her skin. Naya Kim is of South Sudanese descent and is an African-American model who uses her deeply pigmented skin so that she can be a voice for black rights around the world. Naya Kim has been breaking down barriers left, right, and center. She lives in Minnesota and regularly posts on Instagram with statements like, Black is bold, black is beautiful, black is gold. Don't let American standards damage your ass. African soul. Naya Kim's goal is to teach people not to be afraid of the dark. People are now calling her the Queen of Dark, and she's embracing it. She's a beautiful fashion icon that has undoubtedly been making waves, but she hasn't always made waves in the way you'd expect. Kim Garwish has recently been, named, been nicknamed Queen of Dark. She often receives less than encouraging comments on her photos, but she never lets it get her down. She is a symbol of self-love and even said, My skin absorbs the sun's rays and my hair defies gravity. Now, you can't tell me I'm not magical. It's fair to say that Naya Kim Gadwech is beautiful inside and out. Number 11. The Boy Who Will Never Grow Up a quick glance at Nick Smith from Atlanta, Georgia, and you can immediately think he's a healthy three-year-old. But then you see his fully grown brothers at over 6.5 feet tall, and you might take another look. Nick Smith, who stands at just 35 inches tall, has a condition that only 100 other people have primordial dwarfism. This rare genetic condition makes him one of the smallest men in the world, even though he's now almost 30. Nick's condition, osteodiplastic primordial dwarfism type 2, makes him weigh less than 2 stone. There are nearly 200 dwarfism types known today, and his kind makes him the smallest. In most cases, the condition isn't diagnosed until a child is around 3 to 5 years old. Scared? Yeah. Talk about it? No. From that point, they can suffer from a variety of illnesses associated with old age. Most of the about 100 people with his condition will pass away before the age that Nick is now. Nick seems to defy all odds. However, he has a life-threatening aneurysm, which is a bulge in the artery that feeds blood to his brain. It doesn't affect his day-to-day -day life, but if it ruptures, he may not survive. Number 10. The Lady with Horns Before Zhang Ruifang passed away in 2012 at around 103 years old, she was a Chinese film and theater actress and considered one of the greats. But in her final years of life, that actually wasn't what she was known for. It was the strange cutaneous horn growing on her forehead that looked like that of a goat. The elderly woman from Lin Lu village in the Henan province began growing the strange horn on her forehead in 2009. Within a year, it had grown to around 2.4 inches long and looked eerily similar to that of a goat. Before long, another horn started growing on the other side of her forehead. Both of the horns started as rough patches of skin on her head, which is possibly not uncommon for a woman of her age. But as time went on, the horn grew. They weren't sure what it was, but the funnel-shaped growth looked like a cutaneous horn which is made of compacted keratin, the same proteins we have in our nails and hair. If they're gonna grow on anyone, they genetically appear on elderly people who are fair-skinned with a history 
history of skin exposure. They can be removed, but surgery doesn't get to the underlying cause. Number 9. Cyclist Who Can't Gain Weight Athletes do their very best to maintain a healthy body weight so they can remain at the top of their game. Looking at paracyclist Tom Saniford, you might think that he's been starving himself to stay in peak physical condition, but that's not the case at all. Tom has MDP syndrome, which stops his body from being able to store fat under his skin. As a result, he only has around 40% of the muscle an average man would have. He also has type 2 diabetes caused by the syndrome, whereas type 2 diabetes is often caused by obesity. He lives a relatively normal life with his girlfriend, Alice Miller, and the pair live in London. He is a professional cyclist, and she works for a custom bike experts business, Cycle Fit. They're just like any other couple with just a few differences. Because of his condition, he can't stand for long periods. The soles of his feet can't store fat either. They also don't go out for late night drinking sessions or clubbing as a result. In recent years, Tom has discovered that his condition comes from a genetic mutation and he hopes this news could help people like him in the future. Number 8. Woman with a Beard when Rose Gale hit puberty, she grew hair. That's only natural, right? We all grow hair when we reach puberty. But Rose was developing it on her face and at a rapid pace. If she didn't shave her face, she would rapidly grow a beard. She and her parents worked hard with doctors to come up with a solution. They tried medication, laser therapy, and similar treatments, but nothing really worked. So Rose continued to shave her face to stop it from affecting her life. There are all kinds of people in the world that are um, attracted to all kinds of things. She was then diagnosed with polycystic ovary syndrome, which is a hormonal disorder. But after 26 years of daily shaving, Rose finally decided to ditch the razor. Now, the almost 40-year-old lets her beard grow freely. She said her skin was constantly torn up and she couldn't handle putting a blade to her face for one more day. Rose said the support of her online friends made the entire transition an easy one. Even though social media can be cruel, Rose said she wouldn't have been able to do it without her social media friends. She now regrets having waited so long to be free. Number 7. The Hairiest Man in the World Yu Zhenhuan from China was born into a farming family. Everything seemed normal for him until he was two years old. At that point, his parents noticed that he had hair coming out of his auditory canals. And that was just the beginning. He is now the world's hairiest man, with hair covering around 96% of his body. Doctors diagnosed him with a rare condition that causes hair to grow out of places where it typically shouldn't. It worsened over time, and he now has long, thick hair all over his face and body. As he was growing up, kids would call him Caveman and would throw stones at him, but he didn't let the bullying bring him down. At six years old, he made his acting debut in a movie called A Hairy Child's Adventure. He also underwent five operations to remove hair from his nose and ears, which were causing breathing and hearing difficulties. In 2009, he received laser hair removal treatment, but it was unsuccessful. At one point, he believed he had found the love of his life, a woman he met through a dating agency. However, the woman's family objected to his appearance and they had to break up. Number 6. The Model with Baggy Skin you would have heard about the man with the saggiest skin in the world, but he's not the only one to have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Model Sarah Geertz does too. She was diagnosed with two types of the condition when she was 10 years old, which causes her skin to be more delicate and less elastic than other people of her age. In high school, she tried to cover up her skin. It was her biggest insecurity, and she didn't want to talk about it. I think it's beautiful. I think it, you know, the patterns of the way my skin. Now she embraces her rarity and uniqueness, so much so that she submitted her story to the Love Your Lines body positivity campaign. She hoped she would be able to raise awareness about the condition and help people with it realize they're not alone. She told People Magazine, even if it inspires just one person who thinks they might have it to look up the symptoms or talk to their doctor about it, that alone is the whole reason I'm doing it. That and to ease the journey to self-love for every 
every individual out there who thinks they need to hide their imperfection because society tells them to. Our imperfections are our perfections, and they're worth celebrating. Number 5. Hair Loss Made Anthony Kerrigan a Better Actor Anthony Kerrigan is an American actor that you may recall from The Forgotten, Gotham, Barry, and Bill and Ted Face the Music. He was nominated for a Primetime Emmy for the HBO series Barry and has created quite the name for himself. What you may not know about Anthony is that he has an autoimmune disease called alopecia areata that causes hair loss. When he was growing up, he only had mild symptoms like small bald spots, though by the time he entered his 20s, he started losing more hair and used to put on artificial eyebrows. It's really sweet. I'm turning the color of my suit right now. I know it. Now, he embraces his hairless look. He has no hair, no eyebrows, and no eyelashes. He has managed to incorporate this look into his career and often gets typecast as villains in television shows. It turns out he does a pretty good job. He has several award nominations under his belt, like Screen Actors Guild Award, Critics' Choice Television Award, and Gold Derby TV Award. Anthony is now married to professional chess player Gia Olymp, who he met at the Broadway Lafayette Street train station in New York City. Number 4. The Girl with 80% Birthmarks it's not uncommon to be born with a birthmark. Many of us have them, but they're usually relatively small and not something we think about. Although Beatriz Pugliese from Sao Paulo in Brazil has quite a prominent birthmark. In fact, it covers over 80% of her skin and is known as a congenital melanocynic nevus that only affects 1 in 500,000 people. The birthmark consists of darker and lighter patches and is made up of several small birthmarks. She was born with the marks all over her torso and some parts of her legs. However, as she aged, smaller marks started to appear. She even has them on the soles of her feet. Doctors were so concerned when she was born that she's undergone many surgical procedures, mostly because they are prone to skin cancer due to the massive melanoma production rate on the skin's surface. Even though Beatrice was bullied for her birthmarks, she never let the comments get to her. She doesn't cover them up and has become a role model for other people with them. Number 3. Girl with the Longest Legs when Macy Curran from Cedar Park in Texas was in elementary school, she appeared to be quite tall. Doctors estimated that she'd stand around 6 feet 4 inches tall by the time she reached adulthood. But doctors aren't always right. By the time Macy entered 7th grade, she had shot past 6 feet. Macy is now a high school senior and stands at 6 feet 10 inches tall. Her legs make up 60% of her height, and she's now recognized by the Guinness World Records as the woman and and teen with the world's longest legs. Macy said the announcement has changed her life. She said it's overwhelming, but made her want to inspire other tall people. She isn't all that surprised by the title. When she was being measured for a custom pair of leggings, she discovered that her legs make up more than half of her body. She checked out the current record holders and decided to make an application. She then received word that she had beaten the previous record holder, a woman from Russia. Each of her legs measures 4.5 feet long, which is slightly less less than a foot difference than the average total height for a woman of 5 feet 3 inches. Number 2. Rare and Enchanting Syndrome when you see the beautiful blue eyes of Ketlin Silva de Jesus, you may assume that the girl from Brazil is wearing contact lenses. Her entire family has dark eyes, so she definitely stands out. Her mother even thought doctors had swapped her baby when she first saw her in the hospital. However, it was learned quite early on that Ketlin has Vardenberg syndrome. This syndrome is rare, affecting one in every 40,000 people, and it's inherited. Along with blue eyes, Ketlin was also born completely deaf. Her family came to this conclusion when she managed to sleep through a fireworks show at the age of one. 
Even though the deafness could be helped, her parents didn't have enough money to seek treatment. When Brazilian photographer Joao Pedro Sampaio spotted Ketlin at around age 11 while shopping in her city, her world changed. He saw how beautifully unique she was and believed she had the potential to become a fashion model. Now, Ketlin has a portfolio and shoots for magazines. She even has big brands investing in her career. The money and exposure have now helped her to improve the quality of her life. Number 1. Carpenter with 28 fingers and toes Most of us have 5 fingers on each hand and 5 toes on each foot. But that's not a hard and fast rule. Devendra Suthar from Himat Nagar in Gujarat, Western India is proof of that. He has 28 fingers and toes after being born with a condition called polydactyly. This condition forms in the womb during the early weeks of pregnancy. It hasn't stopped him from living life to the fullest, but it has caused some difficulties in his work and general life. He finds it hard to find shoes that fit and often worries about cutting off his fingers while he's working as a carpenter. In his hometown, people call him Maximum Fingers Man. Surprisingly, this condition is not all that rare. It's typically picked up during ultrasound scans and affects one in every 700 to 1,000 births. In developing countries, babies born with extra digits usually have them surgically removed when they are two years old. Devendra clearly did not. As a result, he holds the Guinness World Record for living with the most extreme case of recorded polydactyly. He is also the only person in his family with it, even if it may have a genetic link. Some of these people can't help that they are unique, often because of a medical condition, but others chose to be as unique as they are. Can you recall hearing about any of these rare humans before? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!